Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to run a full power test using your V6CF controller to check the elements and relays of your kiln. So first, we need to make sure that the lid is open and the kiln is empty before we run the test. So then we want to go ahead and program for the full power test, so we'll press enter program. And then I'm going to go ahead and use user 6 and press enter, you can use any of the user programs. Then you want to change the segments to 1 and press enter. Then you want a ramp rate of all nines, which we've already got up here, so we'll go ahead and press enter. Then we want our temperature to go to 1000, so we'll type that in. Press enter. And then we want a hold time of zero, so that's already there. We'll go ahead and press enter again. And then we want our alarm set to all nines, which shuts the alarms off. So we'll go ahead and leave it as it is and press enter. It'll go to complete. And now with the lid open and the kiln completely empty, we'll go ahead and press start and the kiln should turn on. And so we're going to run this test for about 20 to 25 minutes and then you're going to observe the elements all the way around the kiln to see that they are all evenly lit. Now there's a couple things to indicate if the elements don't look like you expect. So if one section of the kiln is dark and not coming on, that would indicate a defective relay. If one element is not glowing at all, that would indicate a broken or bad element. If there are dark or cool spots along the element, that can indicate a worn element. And if you see that the top and bottom elements appear brighter than the middle, that is actually normal for some kilns as they have a hotter element in the top and bottom. So once you've made your observations after the firing, you can go ahead and turn the kiln off and then you can contact your kiln manufacturer for the kiln replacement parts. But if there is an issue with your controller, if you don't see any problems still, you can go ahead and contact us and we'll be glad to help. So that's it for now, but remember to check our website for updates, like us on Facebook, and sign up for our e-newsletter for more information. Thanks!